I suppose I will start at the very beginning. Chapter 1 Once upon a time, there lived you. Despite his unusual name, his life was hardly any different from others. It was an unusually usual... Two... He was used to work... This... It rem... His room... Having got... He walked... The trip to work to his it was unclear you just like deja vu before the last security guard that I can you mean no eliminate the root you glance you was suddenly The null you allow it. I never there was a chapter two on the <clears throat> let's continue returning to such. Give it here, take it in a moment. I am the in can I have why did frowning the office folk. The ring you in holding on to the ring. He ran it. Go to He did not although his You I'm at I dismiss my as usual. If I was your Max, do you? They let me go, but there is still a lot of work to do. Okay, I will talk to your father. Don't you dare. Max had a fit of grunting coughing. To you, surprise. Max tried to hide it very hard, but you noticed blood on his palms, which he quickly hid in his pocket. You decided to play along with his old friend, pretending that the latter had not given his secret away. Max tried to quietly wipe the traces of blood with a handkerchief, the corner of which was still visible from the... The handkerchief was way too familiar. It was Darina's handkerchief. What was... 
is that? What do you mean? I have a cold. There have been droughts in my classroom for three days. Yu looked at his own hands, counting his fingers. Boring, but quite expected. They were all there. He was clearly weaker than his friend was, but having lost control of himself, he grabbed Max by the front of his shirt, which led to a clumsy brawl. Max pushed Yu against his shoulder in an attempt to break away. Because of an insult or uneven stones on the pavement, Yu lost his balance and fell down, hitting the curb with the back of his head. As if examining a painting, Yu fixed his dying look on his fingers and counted them. He counted them again and again. Do 